in just a second, I will show you where to buy traditional Bavarian clothes for cheaper, indulge in sweet masterpieces and enjoy Bavaria's beautiful landscapes, everything close to Munich. Hello hello friends, welcome to the urban jungle, my name is Julia and let's jump right into the video. Let's warm up with an easy hike in the swamplands. Luckily, just right side of our hotel, there's the Murnauer Moos, the beautiful lush green swamplands. But don't worry if you're staying somewhere else or even doing a day trip from Munich, which is well possible, there's parking lots right next to the trail. The loop trail should take you about 3 hours. We needed to take a shortcut in the end, but more on that later. This route is especially nice since you do have a 360 degree view all over the landscape, including an awesome view on the Alps and get to hike through a little forest as well. This is just a perfect all-in-one with no steep hills and you do not even need to bring your hiking boots. Can you believe it? How quickly did this beautiful blue sky disappear? You better check the rain forecast first so you don't get caught off guard like us. But even if you do, there is a train station for the last 3 kilometers. Just buy your ticket inside the train. There is no vending machine on the train station. So go up to the staff, buy your ticket and get home safely. Our next activity is a bit safer in that sense. Chocolate! So, in case it does rain, this is your place to go. This is for all my chocolate lovers and the ones who couldn't be convinced yet. Here they sell so many different kinds, you surely will find your favorite one. And it helps that the staff lets you try some pieces as well. So why not go for a passion fruit lemon? Or choose your cocoa bean by country? When you're overwhelmed by all these different flavors, I recommend to buy one of these packages here with the surprise assortment because life is a box of chocolates and you never know what you get. Hmm. <laughs> Makes also a very cute present, I think. Bavarian rum and chocolate birthday cards can also be found here. And yes, it's not only a shop, it's a factory, which means that you can casually ask the staff for a little tour on how they manufacture the chocolate. These traditional fairy tale figure shapes are so, so cute! Now you have the hard choice between eating cake and chocolate at the factory or to indulge in what you've bought at home. And this is what we're going to do now. Not only do these little masterpieces look super beautiful, but I can assure you they taste great. My personal favorite, the passion fruit combinations. Yummy! I'm sure you guys know by now that I am German, but what I like about Bavaria is that the houses look super different from what I am used to. So let's explore Murnau village and the lake. Look, Milch und Lebensmittel, a milk and grocery store. I bet they have local produce. You can rent out all sorts of boats, which explains the boathouses, canoes and stand-up paddle boards. The island in the middle of the lake could be worth exploring, who knows? There is also a guarded bathing area for safe swimming. And if you decide to make a boat cruise or explore the neighboring villages, this is where you need to hop on. And when on holidays, what do you have to do? Of course, shopping. And this is not normal shopping, no, we are heading to Polling Village to buy a real Bavarian Dirndl. You know these dresses that people wear to Oktoberfest and other local festivals? Yes, these ones. And for guys, of course, typical Lederhosen. I can only recommend to go to Dalla Trachten, since you get really nice dresses on a discount. 
Of course, also matching accessories and jackets for both men and women. When you're lucky, you can get a dindle for as cheap as 50 euros. On average, I'd say the prices range around 100 something euros. Keeping in mind that the regular prices start at 250, all depending on the brand of course. But these are the ones you'd also see in the city. You might have guessed it, I took the blue one and I'm super happy about it. I'd say Bavarian immigration process completed. Last but not least, let's get the combination of scenic views, a picturesque church and cake all on Peisenberg Mountain. Since you can drive up all the way to the mountain, it's only a little stroll until we have the first nice view. Which speaks for itself, I'd say. And in the north we have Lake Starnberg, a quite popular and slightly expensive place to live close to Munich. By the way, we will keep this cafe in mind for later. If you have not seen my video about the crystal clear lake at Herzogstand Mountain, now this is your friendly reminder to click on the link in the info box. I promise you, you will not regret it. But now over to the church. The pilgrimage church Maria Himmelfahrt, Assumption of Mary, was built in 1514 and then renovated and enlarged quite a few times. Now it eventually carries the Rococo and Baroque style, with rich ornaments and ceiling frescoes. To this day, Catholics gather and walk up the mountain to participate in the Mass. Oh, it's 4 o'clock, which means snack time! The cafe is only a few steps away from the church and we are heading in for some cake. Bavarian cream cake to be more specific. The flavor is super rich and with all the cream it was a bit hard for me to finish, but hey, super delicious and the price of 3.30 is average and justified. For the cake, half a liter beer and the hot chocolate we paid 10.50 in total, just for your price reference. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and also hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below which activity you like best and if you have already bought your Dirndl or Lederhosen, you don't know where to stay, then I have a little suggestion for you over here. Or click on this video to explore something new. Thank you for watching, stay healthy, stay safe and see you next time. Bye!